Pepper. <laughs> take her back to Ramona's tent. I've taken her back three times already. I'll take her back again, then. It's no use. She just keeps running back here. <laughs> Easy. Look, you can stay here, but you must sleep under your own blanket. Harper, you'll sleep at the bottom of my bed, just to make sure nothing happens that's not in army regulations. What? Good God, lass, go and put some clothes on. She hasn't got any clothes. Well, tell her Mona to go and get her some, damn you. I asked her. She told me to shag off. It's loaded, Harper. I know. Army regulations state never leave loaded weapons lying around the camp. You must have missed that one. Listen, it's not very often I raise my fist to a man. But when I do, I'll leave evidence of it. I believe that. So what's between you and Ramona? Ramona wants me to marry her and take her back to Ireland. Well, since you've got a young son running around the camp, I don't see much wrong with that, Harper. I don't. So? I love Ramona. I love her a lot. I love her enough not to take her back to my bloody country. And she's Spanish. And she's got a son born out of wedlock. My son! For Christ's sake, no man or woman in Ireland would look at the side of the road she walked on. And, of course, there's my mother. Your mother? When I was 17. My mother made a match for me with a girl called Annie Brady from Dunwile. My mother adored her. And you know, she was the most beautiful girl you've ever seen since the first day. You're not telling me you're married, are you, Harper? No, I'm not! Annie Brady died on me. And you know, I don't think my mother ever recovered. And I'll tell you, if I was to arrive home in Ireland with a Spanish wife and a child, well, she'd never forgive me. Harper, look around you. What do you see? I see soldiers. No, you don't. You see truth tellers. Liars, mongrels, bastards, men who have tumbled into this war. The madness that is this war. That's what you see, isn't it? That's what I see. And they all have one thing in common. What's that? They live by the sword, and they prepare to die by the sword. They have little else that they have honor. You're going to have to show the mother of your child that same on Harper. So start praying, Pat. <laughs> 